Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah? Let's do it. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the first half. Oh, I'm sorry, for the second half of May, 15th through the 31st. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get into this. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leos for this time period of May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo. So I remember in the beginning of the month, we were talking about um, clearing space, allowing your so allowing for um, a room for your ships to come in, for your manifestations to come forward. So... Let's see what's going on for the second half of the month. Leo. Okay. Let's cut the deck here. All right, Leo. Overall energy we have, starting with the uh, Page of Swords, or in this deck it's the Princess of Swords, in reverse. So already what I'm getting so far is if you were in the moment of where like the page of swords was upright in the sense that you're like checking in on someone, maybe even spying on someone, checking out someone's social media accounts or whatnot, you know, keeping up to date on what they were doing. You're not necessarily doing that anymore. Um, I'm really feeling like you are in a mode where it, you're pretty detached from a situation. You're like, I honestly don't even want to know. I'm just focused on me right now. I'm seeing, actually, what I'm also seeing in the uh, Page of Swords here is the attention that you may have been putting on um, someone else or another situation, you've, set, you've detached from that, and now you're turning that in attention inward, okay? Which... To be honest, is a really good thing because if you're whatever you have, no matter what's going on in your external reality, it all comes with from within anyway. And look at that. We've got the three of swords. I'm sorry, the three of wands again. So you're still in this mode of um, 
of allowing your ships to come in. I really feel like you have taken a big step in um, turning this attention of the Knight Page of Swords inward in, in order to do the things, take the steps, <laughs> do the things, do all the things, Leo, <laughs> but to take the steps to really manifest, you know, what you've chosen, really allow this manifestation to come forward. We have the Nine of Swords, so there's a bit of anxiety, um, maybe some sleepless nights being, and this is really, this is about um, wondering, uh, being fearful that um, these things aren't going to come in, what you're manifesting isn't going to come in. But I'm here to tell you that it is, because underneath all of that you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a brand new start coming, there's a new opportunity. Now, um, this is not saying that, uh, okay, what this is saying is, that there's an opportunity here for something new to jump off, okay? And from what I can tell, Leo, you are in the process of really doing your work to, to allow this to come in from your end. So, so this, so, okay, so here's where the Nine of Swords energy is coming into play because, um, you know, you know that you're doing all of your own work. You got your attention focused on yourself and making sure that you know your dock is clear for the your ship to come in. Um, you're decluttered. You know you're mentally balanced. You're physically balanced. You're focused on you know what it is you need to do for your life, and all you can really do is just allow the other parties, whether this is another person, this is a job, this is a a, um, a friendship, whatever, whatever this uh, situation is that we're talking about here, you're just kind of allowing them to do their process and you know you 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 you're aware and that's where the also the page of swords energy is coming into play in reverse you're aware that you can't really do anything about their end of the situation okay so that's why you've taken this page of swords energy and instead of extending it outward you're you're keeping it inward but all at the same time the nine of swords has got you like kind of anxious kind of like oh no is this really going to happen are they really following through on their end of the situation like what and, and and also the fact that you're not really checking in is also adding to the moment to the momentum of this fearful nine of swords energy but at the same time it's keeping it a little bit at bay because you know there's really nothing you can do other than handle your own end of the situation so in the beginning of your in your storyline here we have the uh paid oh, i'm sorry the knight of wands in this deck it is the prince of wands um and i do feel like this is speaking to your energy leo Oof, and we have the devil. Okay, so um, what I was first getting with the Knight of Wands here is that the Knight of Wands is in reverse. So, um, and I really feel like this is, for the most part, this is the energy of the Leo in the situation. Um, and now it also could be the person that you're involved with or the situation that you're involved with. We have someone that's not necessarily coming forward, I feel like. Someone that is still stuck in, um, you know, in negatively aspected Knight of Wands energy. So this can be pretty, pretty promiscuous. It's um, wishy-washy, in and out, um, here one second, gone the next. Um, I do see the Knight of Wands as a spiritual warrior. Now, in many cases, this it doesn't necessarily have to be that the person that we're talking about here is... Um, um, is, you know, being sexually promiscuous, but it could be a sense that they're not, they're not step, they're not really owning up to their own spiritual power in this case. Um, I feel like th that's pretty heavy, heavy too, in the situation. Um, now, Leo, if this is you and you're not necessarily, you know, out there running game on people, this abs absolutely could be you not necessarily being in your spiritual power, not really stepping into your spiritual warrior status. Um, but all of this is happening because of the influence of the devil. And the devil is influencing both sides of the situation here. Um, Leo, for you, if you're identifying as a spiritual warrior here, the devil is, is influencing you in the sense that it's helping generate this Nine of Swords energy, okay? If this is the other person, and not necessarily the Leo, and, and you know, 
I mean, there is the there is the sexual promiscuity aspect of it, the player aspect of it that's kind of coming through here, but that's not as strong as the spiritual sense, at least in what I'm picking up right now. But again, this person may not be um, stepping into their power, may have trouble really accepting this um, this aspect of themselves, but again, it's because of the influence of the devil here, okay? It's attachment to negative situations, negative people, um, uh, toxic and codependent situations. Uh, codependent situations is, is really the biggest thing that the devil is talking about here for, for us, Leo. And I do say us because my moon sign is in Leo, so... I'm I already I'm 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 kind of I done, uh, uh, resonating with this. Moving forward, mm, excellent. We have the world, and that I really love to see, especially coming after the you know what we were just talking about how about how the devil is having an influence here. And I do, and the next thing that I'm getting here connected with the world and the devil. This is this is kind of like a last ditch effort on the uh, part of this devil energy, whether that be karmic partners, karmic people, friends, family, any sort of interpersonal relationships, um, or just on an energetic level, like um, individuals being influenced by dark entities, that dark and manipulative entities and not really being fully aware of it. Or even if they are fully aware of it and they're, they're consciously going along with it, this is a last ditch effort, is what the world in connection with the devil is saying. But the world is also clarified by, yep, the tower, okay? Somebody's, and this honestly, this really could be both of you. Now, Leo, if we're talking to you, um, I don't feel like this tower moment is as strong as it is for the other part, the other end of the uh, situation. And the reason why I say that is because, um, you know, Leo, you have come to a, 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 a moment where, you know, you already made your decision. You've been working in the sense to clear away the clutter so that your manifestation can come forward. Um, but you're still dealing with a tower moment in that there are still some things that are being revealed to you, especially in relation to this devil energy. It's like you are um, really cleaning up a lot of the fluff and extra clutter that was a little harder to see because it wasn't so prominent. For the other party, this is a pretty heavy tower moment, and it's been going on for a while, and it may it may last for a while. And the reason I say is that it may last for a while, or at least feel like it's gonna la it's it's lasting for a while, because this is a major major ending, which we have depicted here in the world. The world is um, excuse me, the world is the end, the very last card of the major arcana. This is a major, major cycle coming to a close so that a new one can start. After the world, we start right back at zero with the fool in which we have the depiction of someone typically jumping off a cliff. Um, you know, and <laughs> yes, I know that sounds bad, but it's really not as bad as it seems because it's about um, having faith in the divine uh, having faith in the universe that ultimately the universe will catch you, um, having faith and knowledge within yourself. So like when we finish a cycle with the world, we've learned so much more about ourselves. We see and understand so much more about ourselves. And so now we're more prepared to take that leap of faith, even though we're moving into a new direction, into something that's unknown, because we have a better understanding of who we are. And the tower here is really helping facilitate that that understanding of who we are on a deeper level so that we can move forward from this cycle and start something new. Next in the storyline, we have temperance, balance. Okay, we could be talking twin flames here. That's possible. This is a general reading, so it absolutely could be. And the eight of cups in reverse. So <laughs> it's so funny because in all of the readings for my signs <laughs> recently, or for this half of the month, the Eight of Cups has been coming up in reverse. We have balance being stricken. And um, someone is in the process of moving away from something that no longer serves them. Um, and again, I'm hearing this is going to take some time. Because, like I said, we have a major cycle ending, okay? If, and even if this doesn't really... And the only reason I mentioned Twin Flames is because of Temperance. Temperance is a Twin Flame card. The may, a lot of the journey of, of Twin Flames is balancing um, masculine and feminine energy. So, um, and just becoming coming into balance within. 
so that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons, that, that, that's the reason why I bring up Twin Flames. But ultimately, even if you're not on a Twin Flame journey, Leo, this could be you. Uh, for the most part, outside, uh, for the most part, I am feeling like this is you, Leo. Because, and this is talking about, you know, the, the work that you've been doing to allow your ships to come in here with the Three of Wands. So you're really, you're really balancing out. You're, you're, you're really releasing a lot of the very last pieces of whatever it is you need to move away from. The Eight of Cups in reverse right now is not saying that someone is refusing to move on. What I'm getting from this is that it's in the process of happening. Steps are being taken to really move away from something that's no longer serving someone or something that no long, that they no longer resonate with. And again, because we have this major ending um, and this major upheaval, it's, it's, you know, it's going to take some time. It's not like you can just drop and, and like drop and go. No, this is like, okay, we got to work this. We got to work out. A, we have to work out a way to even, to even really take action in moving away from things. And so temperance here is also asking for patience because it's on a, on a spiritual level, on a universal level, it's being worked out. You may not see the physical evidence right now, but understand that the universe and spirit are work, the divine, excuse me, are working very closely with us in order to, to get this, in order for this to be facilitated, because ultimately this is what is truly wanted, not just by the divine, but by the individuals that involved, okay? That are involved, excuse me. Next, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. A lot of the same messages with the Five of Cups. A lot of the same messages are coming up this month. It's very, very interesting. Um, so the Ace of Wands in reverse is talking about, you know, wanting a, a, a passionate new start, okay? But it, it's in this situation, the Ace of Wands is blocked, and that is because of the Five of Cups. That is because of regret and fear that all is lost. It's the same message that's came up in the other readings. And if, if, if whoever feels like something is lost needs to understand that what has been spilled needed to be spilled. Like those cups were toxic. Those cups were going to do nothing but make you sick and hurt you, whatever was in those cups. But realize that you do have two cups behind you, okay? So it's time to, you know, really release all of this fear and anxiety and um, the, re the regret and the remorse uh, and even beating yourself up. I'm picking up that there are some people out there, whether it's you, Leo, or the person that you're connected with or the situation that you're connected with, in some way, there's a lot of self-deprecating energy right now, like 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 really tearing yourself down. And that absolutely has to do with the devil. Not only is the devil feeding off of your fear or who, who, whoever's, who, whomever's fear, it's also generating this energy here, this regret, this like you're not good enough um, you're never going to be good enough. You're only going to hurt someone. You're only, you know, and you're only, a, you're a detriment to yourself. The devil is helping generate this energy and it's helping. And that is what is helping to block the, um, uh, emergence of this new passionate or spiritual reality. It is really time to dry your eyes, turn around and pick up those two cups that are still standing before, behind you. Okay. Because they're meant for you. They're there for you. That is what you need to move forward with because those two cups are the cups that have the healthy substance within them, okay? Next, we have the Six of Wands, Leo Victory. Excellent. I do see this as kind of a Leo card um, within the Minor Arcana. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is Victory is on its way, but it's gonna it's moving pretty slow. And I've already been saying that. This is, this is going to take some time. Guys, so really, patience is needed, but understand that victory is here. It is moving towards you right now, okay? It is in the process of coming forward. You just have to be patient. I think that I, I think I want to title this video that. Victory is here, you just have to be patient. Next, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse with, ah, the lovers. All right, so look, somehow a choice has been made. Um, wishful thinking has been has been abolished. Um, if there is someone that is, uh, yeah, if there is someone that had um, a lot of options, say, and that's where the energy of this Knight of Wands in reverse comes into play. If someone had a lot of options in the past, um, those options have been dropped and a choice has been made. Okay, this can talk about twin flames. 
again, that is that is something that is possible here. This is a general reading. Um, it, but it also can talk about a soul, a deep soulmate relationship. Um, and also it talks about choices, uh, a major choice needing to be made on a spiritual level. Choosing, and, and especially in, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, the lovers is saying that a choice is either is present for you, Leo, and you're in the process of making the decision or whoever else we're talking about, or in the future, it's in the like within this time frame, this choice is going to come forward, or the choice has already been made, okay? But this this is a deep spiritual choice. And it's especially with the Seven of Cups here, it's like, okay, well, which one of these individuals are going to be the best option for me, are going to be the most fulfilling, are going to be the most nurturing and loving and sustaining? What relationship with which person is going to be the one that I can really rely on, that I can really give my all to? Okay, and the Seven of Cups is now in reverse. So for the most part, that choice has been made. And the choice is true love. Now that doesn't, not, that doesn't have to mean a romantic relationship. True love in, a, in like say a business sense is a business partnership, whether that be entering a company or um, entering into an entrepreneurial endeavor with a partner or whatever, but it is entering into a situation where everybody benefits. It's a healthy situation. It's a nurturing situation. Um, it's a balanced situation. Yeah. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. In this deck, the pages are princesses. And we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry, not the Ace of Swords is upright. Okay. Um, what I'm getting here is for the most part, if because pages are also messengers, um, and I'm getting, I'm actually getting two things because I see, I see pages as messengers. I also see them as um, they could be someone that's just in an immature state when it comes to whatever suit it is in. This is cups, so this would be emotionally and romantically. It also can symbolize for me. It can symbolize um, uh, leveling, leveling up. Um, uh, entering into a new level of, uh, of reality within whatever suit we're talking about. And again, this is cups, so we're talking about emotions and romance. What I'm getting here is one, if there were messages that were trying to, that were being sent on either side um, and they were rejected with the, with the page in reverse, an aha moment has come into play. Now there could be any, any, amount of reasons why those answer those those messages were rejected but however that resonates with you if that resonates with you someone has come to the realization that maybe these messages that were being sent to me were real were relevant were genuine um and that's also where i'm picking up some of this five of swords energy i'm sorry five of cups energy in the regret and the remorse it's like whoa this person was trying to come forward to me all the time and I didn't trust it, but now I see that I can. You also, in relation to that, have someone, whether this is you, Leo, or the, another person involved, you have someone that is leveling up when it comes to, um, when it comes to emotions and romance. Um, they had, someone had an aha moment and they are aware now of how maybe immature, I, I hesitate to use that word because I'm not trying to offend anybody, but um, maybe how how immature they were in, a, in their approach to emotions and love. The Ace of Swords is upright. So I really see this aha moment as a good thing, even though it may be painful <laughs> because swords do cut, um, you know, and when things and when things are illuminated for us, um, that have that either have been hidden from us or we've been hiding from ourselves for a long time and I feel like in this situation that it, this is an illumination of something that that has been ha that, that whoever we're talking about here has been hiding from themselves this is not necessarily that something that's been hidden from them they've been hiding it from themselves for a very long time and so yeah it can be painful but at the same time, it's fruitful because now that you have the knowledge, now that you have had this aha moment, this epiphany, you can move forward in a more positive manner with the information, the knowledge that you've gained. Okay. Finally, Leo, we have ew, the King of Pentacles in reverse, coupled with the Three of Swords in reverse. And this is both a release. 
Okay, this is a release of these energies. First, the King of Pentacles in reverse is saying that it is speaking to someone that is overly materialistic, very, very egoic in nature. Well, not, no, 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 excuse me, not egoic in nature. Um, in, in nature, actually, they are the King of Pentacles upright, stable, grounded, compassionate, nurturing, uh, uh, physically oriented, yes, um, wants to make sure that everything is, is good in a physical sense for themselves and for the people that they care for. But in reverse, this is someone that is um, the exact opposite, is really only out for themselves, very selfish, uh, very egotistical, very uh, materialistic. And I say this is not in nature because at the core, that's not who this person is, whether it's you, Leo, or the other person. It could be an earth sign because we do have the king of pentacles, so Taurus, Leo, or Virgo. Um, we also, I'm sorry, speaking in terms of signs, if we want to do that, we have Capricorn here with the devil. We have um, temperance. Temperance? No. Temperance, I don't believe, has a... Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe Temperance has an astrological um, association. But then the lovers is rep represents Gemini, okay? So you could have any one of those, those signs um, that you're uh, associating with. Uh, but then also here we could have an Earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or um, just someone that has is, again, egocentric, uh, materialistic, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is not, when I say they're not, this is not their nature. This is not who this person truly is. It's a, it's a learned behavior. It's something that they acquired for any, any amount of reasons, okay? That energy is being released. And also the energy of the Three of Swords that was generated by this King of Pentacles in reverse energy is also being released. And that has a lot, to, and this aha moment, this ace of swords here that we were talking about has a lot to do with that. Has a lot, that's it. somebody has come to a realization of just how um, negatively aspected they have been in their material sense. And that, and their, their focus has really been on um, money, on status, on fame, on um, opulence, materialism. And so, now that there, and now there is a, um, an emotional reality that is coming forward and that is given rise to this Ace of Swords aha moment. And so now whoever this person is that we're talking about, either you, Leo, or the other person is finally able to see things clearly, understand why they've been wrapped up in this Three of Swords energy for so long, this heartbreak, betrayal, um, heartbreak really, um, even though they may not have shown it on the surface, now they're, they're, they're finally able to understand, like they're being given the opportunity here with the Ace of Swords to see this heartbreak for what it truly is and now do something about it, make some changes within their life so that they can move forward, um, I just heard, to the Ace of Cups that they, that they really desire so much. Okay? Yeah. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles here. A brand new material start. And that absolutely is related to this King of Pentacles energy because once the King of Pentacles turns upright, now you're at a better place, not only to just be happier, but to be quite honest, you're in a better place to build even more of a stable uh, physical life and more a, a more authentic physical life. Yeah, you're, you're actually really being given, whoever we're talking about here, you're actually being given the opportunity between the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles to really manifest the life you've actually been looking for instead of manifesting the life that everyone else around you has been telling you that you need to manifest. Telling you that what is the right way. You don't need, to, you don't need anyone else to tell you what the right way is anymore because you know what the right way is and that right way is the way for you. Yeah? Now, what I'm describing here is more of a Five of Wands energy. We don't have the Five of Wands here, but that's what I'm picking up on. <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope this was help for, helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the beginning of June. Can you believe it? We are almost halfway through the year. Where does the time go? Okay. I love you all. Take care. And I will speak with you soon. Bye.